touchdown game. It's the Eagles and the Cards, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. for Tennessee at receiver. And that could be that same long-awaited answer in Philadelphia. 2,000-yard seasons and 24 touchdowns in his first three years in the league. He gets Philly to take a wide receiver rule the team hasn't had in almost a decade. They run the option here on first and 10. And he'll get it across midfield and down to the Cardinal territory. Nine yards on the first down. Keep running at second and one. The Eagles are the perfect 4-0 to start the campaign. They've been playing the best football of the year. What is it, 4 in a row? And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience. All on display in that victory. Uh, second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They tried to throw on second down unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Minshew, first and ten. He rifles one, it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. Sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Now Matt Prater for the point after. He hasn't missed an extra ball all season. Really, really this one. He's in the
Bucks return the net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. in bunches here these last few plays they have moved right down the field and just like that they can be set up with a first and goal two big plays in succession not sure this Dino's what hit them but now they got to get ready it's first and goal they'll run with Sanders and he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the line second and goal from the way Sanders again, and he's in, touchdown Eagles, Miles Sanders hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year, and the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level, so that's now 10 touchdowns for him on the year, he's into double figures, and we're not even to the halfway point of the season yet, Carter doesn't it speak to how well he works with this offensive line? And they know he doesn't need a giant alley to run through. He just needs a little seam. And he's so good at being patient, waiting for things to develop, and then accelerating when it does appear. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Out of his end zone comes Andy Isabella. Arizona's offense takes the field, and no surprises, the man that's guiding them, the pro bowler in his fourth season with the wheel of this offense, Kyler Murray. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's complete. Javon wins the open man. And they're going to get this beat up to 40 before it's taken down. He'll be up there at 21 yards. One point has him on last the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. 
Murray now to throw. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Murray. Being chased out left. Going to be knocked away and incomplete. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. Whatever he was doing in September, they're hoping that that carries over now to October because he was sensational last month. He absolutely was, and we all know where it started at the end of last season, right? All the offseason preparation, the weight workouts, the sprint, right? The vision that he had that he was going to do this season. And of course, it all came together with the rest of the team. Those big throws up front, leverage, and boy, they get down for the big for They really are. Everyone's been doing their job so far to create those goals. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. And that's exactly what offense is trying to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a beat on the play, get a running start. And make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Toward the sideline, it's complete and let it grab. It's still well short of the first. It'll go as a gain of four. And now bring up four down. The Cardinals take over first. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full play ball. If they want to take a shot here, yeah, they can go ahead and do it. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14.
20. And he is going to lose yardage here. Brandon Graham, great pursuit there, getting the tackle for loss. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll get this up over the 25 and the 26. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Murray going to throw. Get him in over the middle. It's Williams. And they work this well up field across the third. Nice third down conversion on even 20 yards. First down. And that is incomplete. He comes going down through the contact. He brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Murray. And incomplete. He's certainly going to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Murray to air it out again. And that's incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all our friends have been fantasy. They're enjoying the heck out of this show. Because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Points certainly not at the premium here. Pretty entertaining start. 14 all the score on the Eagles. Sticks here with a second and 15. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They got 29 yards that time. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll go option to the short side. And a short game there down to the 37 yard line. Go on second and nine. Minshew. Oh, Pascal able to haul that one in. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And the running lanes not existed in this first half as they'll stop it behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, but I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now here's a run for the end zone, but that one's going to line up incomplete. Seven play in this drive, coming up, and a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. And the Cardinals are going to take possession here. At their own 16-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted to touch down. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know, every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick. Whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one up. They'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. He's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Play action. Now it's Murray. And complete to Zach Ertz. And that's the 30. The 30 is out of bounds. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Second and short, that's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they 
do so and pick up a first down. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Murray now. Quick throw knocked away. They're now on second and ten again for the 41. To throw, it's Murray. This is caught. It's Brown. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Throwing on first down is Murray. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it with an avalanche. Dropped at the run. A big pick up with three. sideline after that catch. They're fired out. It's a big game. On first and goal, he'll try the option left. And he is going to lose yardage here. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. They'll run out of the gut here. Williams. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. And he's down about the two. The Cardinals on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and goal. To throw is Murray. territory. 
Coming up in prime time here in week five, a couple of division rivalries on the docket. Beginning tonight in the AFC North with the Bengals and Ravens from Baltimore at 820 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday Night Football, Raiders and Chiefs from Arrowhead in the AFC West. On second and nine, Murray. That pass complete to Moore. And a gain of three on the play. And at third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. There's Murray. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. What's wrong? Kick the 
this one in that neighborhood as well. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. City of Angels, Los Angeles, and that one closing in on halftime with the Cowboys out on top. Dak Prescott has thrown a touchdown pass. Next, we head off to check out another game, and they fall in that one to the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Matt Ryan, four touchdown passes in the victory. Finally, let's take the trip across the Atlantic what's happening over in London, where it was the host Packers who were able to come away with that victory. Aaron Rodgers, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. Time now for a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Eagles. And despite the fact that they're looking up at a double-digit deficit at halftime, they were able to move the football through the air in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football at State Farm Stadium. And for the call, let's head back out to Glendale and hand it over to Brandon Guy. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Isabella not going to risk a return here, and they'll start at the 25. Cardinals football, Marquise Brown back out now with the Arizona offense. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on him, and he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Again, Murray will keep it. And not much to speak of. Part of a one yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Forcing a completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now Murray. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks, giving the yard up to the 42. And that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And they're working across midfield inside the 45. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals.
touchdown scored when this season comes to an end. Good question, partner. Is it better enough to toast him with a sports drink? Not at all, partner. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Cheers. Crater for the entry. Precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four possession deficit. Barbara, you know that team gathers. They're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25 point lead late. It wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. The bottom line is it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. It'll be Minshew again. Throws this one right side the pass goal. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. He has a first down, and that catch will also go over 100 yards receiving now in the afternoon. Minshew sets to throw. That's into the hands of Pascal. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Off play action, it's Minshew. This is Smith to the ground. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are able to cut into that deficit. It's a very important first drive in the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where is this in the first half? Because if they had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchdown, no return for Isabella. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. First down, Murray. Trying to fit it in the ball, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. But a big pick up there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. They'll go again with Sanders. He's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Looking to throw it. Minshew. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Oh, 
On first and ten, it's Sanders. It gets him a little bit closer. Attention from the six inside the five of the field. Second and goal from inside the five. And they'll run again. And this time they'll run into a roll. Dallas got her from four yards out. And the Eagles get a bit closer. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. That time a six-play drive. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Gallagher. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Isabella not going to risk a return here and they'll start at the 25. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. They begin the drive with Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He'll set up the screen. This is Williams. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing. And they shut that one down with a little gain. Shotgun now for Murray. And it's Williams. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And he pushes way into about the 44 here. From the 44, Murray, it's over the middle. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. First and 10 at the 45 yard line. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second and nine, Murray. And this one incomplete. Too much contact a whole lot on that one, and it's third down. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and nine. Throwing now is Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Now this one now, not over yet, Charles. You've got a sliver of hope on that other sideline. You certainly do, because that would have made it a three-score game, and that probably would have been curtains at that point. But now if they can get down the field quickly and somehow get the ball back one more time, we may have a different ball game. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Eagles. Zach Pascal, 49 yards. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again. Here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But 
I am excited about this, and I know you are too. We got a ball game again after that big time strike. Big time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Elliot on for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Isabella now from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they get him down at about the 17-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. I'm sure we're looking good for them at the half. Heck, off the air, you and I were just saying they might run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. Yeah, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to mash the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business now that you're being pressed? It is definitely go time for them at this point. All of a sudden, playing to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. Second down, Williams. And only a couple there up to about the 23 yard line. Brought down at the 23 yard line. It's a game two. Brings up third and five. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. This defense not budging back to back carries of just two yards. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on the run for Arizona. Two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration of pure, unbridled joy after that. And he's drawn just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves on the third one. Second down, it's Murray. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. They'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. Oh, my God. 
I'm coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took a little big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 111 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. A gain of 13 yards and an eagle touchdown. Now Minshew on first and 10. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46 yard line. A gain of four is now second and six the 46-yard line. Running right, here's Sanders. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Oh, boy, hang on here. J.J. Watt appears to be injured, or at least shaken up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Minshew. Wide open receiver complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the heart of the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. The drive keeps moving. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. From the gun, Minshew to throw. He's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. That's a multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. By the way, you'd be looking at about a 47 yard from here as they come up on an important third down. That's swung out wide to Sanders. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They pick up 10, but it's still going to be a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walk the ball this progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. Walk back the way they ran to the football and knocked it down before it's a fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The football going back over to Arizona now. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. Absolutely no money fool there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Kaiser White. You know he can fly to the ball, and he showed it there. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here into the hands of Moore. So they'll get eight on that completion. And now third down and six to go. That's the gain of eight. Makes it third and now six. Now Murray. Dancing to his left. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. There's Murray. Looking for Ertz, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox. Murray's pass intercepted by the Eagles. They'll take over. And they exited the lockers with a nice start. And now all of 
this? What's happening? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Right, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple of things go wrong, and it's hard to get back that good feeling. Minshew, first and ten. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And the Cards are right back in this football game. Charles offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get free. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Murray. Gets this to Moore. And he's able to get this one up to a Five-yard pass on first down and another five-yard connection there. Murray to throw. And he's got his man in stride complete. And he gets this to the 35 good for a gain of five. Throw complete here to his receiver Brown. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Murray. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Murray. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they say it's incomplete. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Minshew. 
And once again, this is Sanders. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Again, made sure looking to throw. This is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 28. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play has them in field goal range with a chance to win. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. Two seconds on the clock. This for the win. And this is right down the middle as he puts him through. And the Eagles are going to win the football game.